Mike Still here from Bison's TV, here with Jordy Zacharias, a captain of the women's hockey team. Jordy, how are you doing this morning? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing real well, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's trace things all the way back to a little bit of your roots. You played prep school hockey at St. Mary's when that was sort of still a thing that was relatively new about Memorial Hall was doing it, but St. Mary's was just sort of, sort of coming up. Uh, describe to me uh, what that experience was like and how beneficial it was for you playing yeah, prep school hockey up until going into your senior year. I think playing on a prep team like that because you do have a bigger workload than I think you would in, in public school so it helped me prepare for university and uh, how to time manage a little bit better so yeah it was a really good experience there. Coming back to the U of M where you've made, you know carved out an incredibly impressive career and one thing you mentioned to me was just how quickly welcoming the team was for you because you had to redshirt the first part of your, your first year coming back through uh, you know but you bonded quite well with uh, with all the girls on the roster. Um, I mean how nice was it for you to just come back and not feel that pressure of being welcomed and, and not having to yeah just adjust. Yeah it was super awesome because I came mid-season so you never know what you're really going to expect. Um, so yeah, such a great group and everyone was super welcoming and it, it's hard when you're not really in the lineup or technically on the team, um, but everyone really made me feel like I was. So I had a really great experience when I came back and, and you never know when you come back halfway through the season what kind of judgment you're going to get and stuff, but uh, no questions asked. Everyone just accepted me and it was, it was really nice. Mm -hmm. You cemented a very strong bond with the 95, 96 age group there. Uh, obviously, the third, your third year being one of the more biggest highlights, the national championship season. Uh, great chemistry with players like Alana Sharma, Alana Sirhan, a uh, number of other athletes on the team. Um, I mean, when you eventually win that national championship, what's running through your head when you come off the bench and it's over and you, you've done something that the program's never done before? I don't really remember exactly what I was thinking, <laughs> other than this is cool, but um, yeah, super special and, and that core age group had been through so much coming up to that, um, even though I was only in my third year, they were in their fourth and fifth, so um, very happy for them as well, finally accomplish it. And then you make it back to the Nationals the, the next year again with that strong group back. Um, what stands out for you from that second return trip uh, and the last ride for a lot of the players you've gotten to know quite well uh, yeah. over the last few years? So very different experience going in. Um, we weren't on as much of a high because um, we lost in the Can West finals, but um, I think the experience was very different because we lost out a little bit earlier. Um, so it was, it was like you still have to play for something even though it's not going to be a gold medal. So that was, uh, I think, a, a little bit tricky for us at first knowing when we lost the first game, but there's still uh, like our coaches say, there's only a number of teams that get to play on the very last day of the season and we were lucky enough to be able to do that. So it's still a huge accomplishment and um, even though it was a different path, um, very special as well. In your last season with the Bisons now as the captain of this team and it's a young roster. Um, what are you most excited about in terms of your final season and, and how do you look to lead the program in terms of being a vocal leader and just you know, leading by example with your experiences in the past? Yeah, I'm really excited to um, hopefully play in every game and just make everyone as good as I can because you never know, like I said, it's, you never know what's going to be your last game. But yeah, with such a, a young roster, we're really going back to our, our fundamentals and uh, learning our systems as well as we can. So I'm hoping that us older girls who've kind of been through it and are familiar with them can help as much as we can get them comfortable with the systems. And I think um, that it'll help us only do better throughout the year. So. It's been a pleasure watching you play here. All the best. Thanks. Looking forward to the last ride. Yeah, one more. <laughs>